All right, everyone, we're going to get started. So I'm so excited. There's so many of you here. Um, so basically, um, you know, all of you have expressed interest in becoming our future leaders with Paint for Chef. Um, so we, you know, we've given it some thought and I decided to make a Facebook group. I know there's a ton of groups, so, um, but this one's important. So um, we decided to make this group so you guys can um, keep each other accountable and also, you know, you'll kind of see black black on white, like what do I need to work on? Um, and also you might see other people struggle with something that you're good at and vice versa, and you can help them in that case too. So I can tell you that if I didn't have a buddy when um, I did a program like this with Donna, you know, five years ago, I guess, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would have never promoted to director. So having a buddy along the side to, you know, sometimes vent, to sometimes get new ideas, um, to sometimes see what they're doing that's working and to just kind of keep you on track is really, really important. Um, and that could be anyone, someone you know, someone that, you know, as we're doing these calls, you feel like you guys have a lot of things in common and connect could really be anyone. Um, but having that buddy is definitely um, very important. I don't know, Donna, did you have a buddy back in the day? I did have a buddy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this about me, but um, I, my husband is retired military. So we were where you are. <laughs> um, I started when he was in the military and I had a one and two year old and then we moved our business. Um, let's see, we moved seven times in my first seven years, including internationally to Germany twice. So those of you who are in Korea, I've been there, done that. <laughs> um, and then moved all over the um, US settling in. We've been, this is our longest place we've ever been is Williamsburg, it's now 12 years. But um, so we, yes, I know what you going through, what you uh, will go through well, um, and you've got lots of leaders too that, that um, have also gone through a lot of that already as well. So um, yeah, we're excited. Okay, so we're going to start with, um, because not everyone knows each other, um, we're going to start with, I would like you to just introduce yourself, um, you know, share maybe how long you've been in this business and maybe, you know, how many shows you've done, um, and also share your why. What, why are you interested in promoting to director? What would that mean for you and your family? And why do you think that, you know, you want to be a future leader in this business. So who wants to start? If not, I'm going to call out people. <laughs> I'll start. Okay. Go Karen. Hi, I'm um, Karen Parham. So um, I live in Seoul, South Korea in Yongsan Garrison. And I started in mid October. Actually, I signed up on my birthday. So, um, yay. So, um, yeah, the reason why I've decided the first at first I joined up just because I thought, well, this would be a great way to get you know discounted products and fill up my kitchen and and that kind of thing. And I really wasn't interested in it as a career option. But as time went on, I saw that this could this could be a viable career option for me. And I've been looking for um, for a way to work in a career um, with my family and with you know um, the challenges with that. So, that's my life. Okay. Um, who Karen, wants to go next? What do you do oh. now, Karen? Do you work besides um, taking care of the family? I know that's full time. No, no, no. I'm I'm a stay at home mom. Um, I've been a stay at home mom for um, ten years now. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was looking for career options just because I recently graduated um, with my master's. And so we were kind of on the fence. Do I go back to work full time? Do I go back part time? How do we work in a nine to five with our family? And there was just no way, no way that we could figure I could do a nine to five and meet the needs of our family while my husband's on active duty. There was just no way that we could do it. So. You know, uh, one of our other directors, same thing. She had 
going to college, got her master's, and then exact same comments. And, you know, Pam Bishop helped to do that. So good, good. I'm glad you're right. Well, and it's, I have um, a master's in business. So actually, I feel like I'm using um, some of that knowledge and some of that training. Absolutely. So it's not all, you know, just lost. So. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, in fact, they're still active duty, um, person I'm talking about. And so, yeah, it's definitely huge. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Oh, by the way, um, Claudia, are we going to have them share what their show schedule is now? We're going to do that later. Oh, I guess we can add that in. Good call. So if you could help me, because I'm just trying to take some notes too. Tell me, what is your show schedule for January and February? So include what you've done. So if you've already done two shows and you've got two more, you know, uh, cooking shows, virtual shows, catalog shows, just kind of tell us what you've got going for January and February. Okay, so um, I just did two cooking shows last weekend. Um, and I've been having trouble booking cooking shows here. Um, it's It's been a challenge. I mean, I'm all, yeah, let's have friends over. Yay, fun. And they're like, no. So, um, but I got, hold on, I have one, one, two, um, one, two, three virtual shows. And then um, I'm closing out a freezer meal workshop, the pre-orders on Friday. And I'm combining it with a cooking for kids workshop. So I've been hosting stuff at my house, um, and that that's been that's been okay. I mean, that's been able to kind of get things going a little bit more um, for me. And then in February, so far I only have one cooking show, and I have one virtual. So, but I, I need to follow up with a few people who are interested in doing cooking shows in February. So. Okay, good. Okay, uh, who wants to go next? Go next. I have a scratchy throat, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully okay. everybody can hear me. And you just joined, right? When <laughs> I just you joined last week. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was last week. We're still waiting on your on your um your your kit. Yeah, my kid still hasn't arrived, but I'm Lori Duke. I signed up last week. Um, my why, we'll go there first. Um, I just, we, we have just become empty nesters. So I've been a stay-at-home mom off and on for the past 18 years. Um, I was in the Army for a while, then I got out. Follow my husband around, had jobs back and forth, but mainly I'd just been focusing on my daughter, you know, getting her through school, getting her into college. So she just finally went to college. So I needed something for myself. Who am I again? I forgot who about me. <laughs> I've been somebody's wife and somebody's mother, and now it's time to focus on myself. Um, I've been using Pampered Chef for many years. I love the product. We have tons of it here. Why not get more? Get some income. And I like to be out in the community and meet people. Um, we're here in Seoul as well, in South Korea. Um, I did a um, virtual show yesterday. It's still open. It's closing on Friday. Uh, it, was, it was fun. Karen helped me out through it. I was frazzled. <laughs> um, for January, I still have, nope, that's it for January. Just the one I have right now open. Um, February 6th, Karen's gonna come over to help me do a cooking show at my house. Um, I fly to the States on February 8th for two weeks but I have two shows booked when I get there, one on the 9th. Go and you. One the, yeah, one on the 15th. And then on the 16th, I'm headed to Disney. Um, I don't have anything at the moment. I'm still trying to maybe fit one more party in while I'm in the States. And then I have a home show on the 27th when I get back here to Korea. Good job. 
and you know, you can do virtual parties from just about anywhere. So that might be um, a good filler for the month too. But wow, you're doing fabulous. Great start. Exciting. Hold on one second. My my I have to get my find my earphones. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's next? I'll go next. Okay. Um, I'm Holly. I signed up with Pampered Chef um, in October, so I'm technically done with my first 90 days, which feels kind of crazy. I still feel like a newbie. <laughs> but um, my why is I love to help people. I'm the habitual volunteer. I'm always the one that's helping people. So the thought of actually helping somebody be financially stable without being a nine to fiver sounds really awesome to me. And of course, my husband would love it if I could make some more money and put a down payment towards a house. So that's my why. And my calendar is really dismal. So it's a little disappointing. I have a virtual show this week. I have my very first vendor event this weekend, so I'm really excited for that. And then I have a possible um, fundraiser in February that I'm trying to actually get this lady to nail down a date. So that's me. <laughs> Holly, where do you live? I live at Fort Drum. Okay. She's, uh, she told me that she would never do paint for chaff when I met her, so. Yep, I we sure see how did. that went. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm not good at my word either, Claudia. <laughs> I know. I love that story, though. It was awesome. <laughs> All right. So why, what, tell me more. Why did you say that originally? Because I don't think of myself as a salesperson. I, I don't know. The thought of being a salesperson and working off other people spending money was just something I wasn't comfortable with. But when Claudia and I sat down um, a couple days after I told her I would never be a Pamper Chef consultant, we sat down and talked and she said, don't think of it as being a salesperson, but thinking, think about it as you're helping other people. And that little switch was pretty much all it took for me. And I was like, okay, I can help people be more comfortable in the kitchen because I love to cook. I love to bake. I could help people do that. And so that was pretty much all the push I needed. Oh, good. That's good for all of us to remember, right? Good story. Okay. You have such a good director. <laughs> I try. <laughs> you have many directors on this squad. They're all awesome. Okay. All right. Who's going next? I'll go next. <laughs> uh, well, Donna, I'm Allison. And kind of my reasoning behind doing Pampered Chef, I did it the first time for a couple of years. And I quit because I didn't have a very good team. And when I left Idaho, I started out in Idaho. And when I left, I had like no help. It was like, okay, you moved. Not our problem anymore. And I quit. And part of my quitting was I was pregnant and sick all the time. Couldn't do anything. So it kind of lapsed over. So I didn't restart until Claudia came to town. <laughs> And I was like, you know, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And I decided I needed something so I could stay home with my son and be a stay-at-home mommy. And Pampered Chef seemed to be the subject again. <laughs> so here I am back. But I've had an awesome experience since being back because of this awesome team. And I just want to do it so I can stay at home and be a stay-at-home mommy, but also help others in the kitchen. Because I was one of those. I hated cooking, hated doing anything in the kitchen. And now I just love it, and I want to share that with others. Good. So. Mission to show up. Awesome. Um, so my schedule, I have two shows this week, and then there are cooking shows. Then in February, I have one sh like cooking show and two freezer mill workshops and possibly one more freezer mill workshop in the works. She's just got to talk to some more friends first before she says yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome.
All right. Who's going next? Listen, you're in the court drum too, right? Yeah, I am. And did you start your business the first time in Fort Drum? No, I started it in Idaho. When my husband and I first got married, I ended it in Fort Drum and restarted it in Fort Drum. Okay. Okay, good. I bought all the stuff from her when she was done. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> All right. Um, who else? Christy, do you want to go? Sure. I can go. All right. Um, I'm Christy, and I think I signed up in like August, September. I don't know. It's kind of a blur. Um, I wanted to make some extra money and have a flexible schedule since I homeschool my three kids and working a traditional job just wasn't going to work. And um, we are, like my goal at the moment is we're trying to be debt free at the end of the year. And my schedule, um, January, I really didn't work my business very well. Um, because since I started, I've had a pretty full schedule. And this month, I had one virtual party yesterday. And it was pretty good. Um, but and February... Your host, and your host is thinking about signing, right? We talked yesterday. Yes. it's it, 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 I'll be very surprised if she doesn't sign. But if she doesn't sign, then I have like five parties booked off her party from yesterday. If she signs, then she has those. And I get to go search for more. <laughs> But and how about February? Yeah, February. If I have her parties, then like the parties I booked from her party yesterday, then if she doesn't sign up, then I'll have those five. But okay, otherwise, I have to be filling my calendar this week. Okay, <laughs> we can definitely help you with that. How old are your kids, Christy? Uh, 14, 12, and 8. Okay. And 33. I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, we all have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you said you started in August? I, I think it was August. Christy's on Liz's team, Donna. Liz, okay. Okay, good. That's helpful. Okay, awesome. Okay, and then I believe we have Melissa left. Melissa! Hello. I'm sorry. I'm kind of out of it. I'm going to the doctor today and I'm on this and um, it's like, oh, surprise, you have to go. So I'm kind of feeling really busy. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah. Um, you have a phone on and the computer? There's like oh. echo. If you have the phone and the computer on, you'll get an echo. I don't have a phone on with the computer. Yeah, it's very loud. Are you on the phone line too? No, hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah. It's a little better. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I think it's a little better. Talk to us, Melissa. Let's see if it's better. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. That's better. Okay, I'm sorry. So I can... What is going on? I'm trying to. I don't know. There's just like really loud noise. Like there's like cars driving by your house. That's what it sounds like. I don't have cars driving by. There's nothing on here either. Yeah, because we normally can hear you good on these Zoom calls. Here, let me see. Here. Is that better? 
Okay. Yeah, just try and then we'll see if we can figure it out. <laughs> My internet is going really, really slow. Maybe that's why. You're way better than you got rid of the headset, Rob. Okay. But yeah, so I would say that it's unstable. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Can you hear me okay? I don't know how to turn the volume off. Button. Yeah, just try and share and then we'll should be able to hear you okay. Hello? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, so go ahead. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Share okay. your why. Share your why and your show schedule. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I started. I think I was your first recruit here. Um, and pretty much I started because I wanted something for me. Um, I just wanted to do something for me. I was tired of staying at home all the time. And every, I mean, I have medical background, but every time we move, I can't start, you know, finish my nursing degree because we go overseas and you can't do, you know, you can't finish your nursing degree over there. So I wanted to just start something all new. And so I went to the Panther Chef Party, and I haven't been to a Panther Chef Party since 1999. And so I was like, oh, I love Pamper Chef. I mean, I brought out my cookbooks from Pamper Chef from the 90s. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'll just, I'll just do this. I could totally do this. This is amazing. So I did Pamper Chef. I started in May, and I was like, this is amazing. And we needed extra money. Um, I really want to be a director for the extra money. I really want the director box. So I really, really want to be the next Claudia Bizarre. That would be amazing. And uh, this month has not been so good. Usually the last couple of months have been amazing. So, and this month was amazing at the beginning, and then everybody canceled on me for some reason. Um, but I've managed to get them rescheduled. So I have a freezer mail this weekend, which they've already purchased, but I'm hoping they're going to purchase more. I think they might. Um, and I've got a party this weekend, and I'm closing a catalog party this weekend. And then next month, I've got four parties booked and two freezer mails. And then I've got three people I need to call. And then I've got my two reschedules from this month on next month as well. But they aren't officially booked yet. They just want, they're on for next month and not officially booked yet. But four cooking shows are officially booked. Correct. Okay. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to mute you, Melissa, because you have a lot of background. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, um, do we have anyone else? I, I think that's everyone, right? Yeah, okay. that's everyone. So, um, and I love, thank you, Melissa, for sharing what excites you most about directorship. I would love to hear from the others what excites you. Holly, what excites you most about directorship? Um. I don't know. It's kind of a tie for me between helping other people and the extra money. I mean, how can you be upset about the extra money? And like Melissa said, free products, you know, like seeing you guys post the pictures of the new spring products that you guys already got huge wave of jealousy. <laughs> well, they're sitting right here and you can't see them. And we got how them much, free. How much money? money. I'm sorry. Well, you said you, you, you were interested in extra extra money how much extra money well we are looking at a possible PCS this summer and we are talking about 
looking at buying our own house when we move. So it would kind of be a dream come true to actually be able to pay the mortgage with my money and not with the money that my husband makes for us. Okay. Do you have any idea what that might be? No, not yet. Okay. So do some research. So over the next couple of weeks, we'd love to hear what that might look like. Okay. It's very helpful for it to become real for you guys. Um, you know, and I, I think that Claudia has already proven to all of you that you can go from making 600 to 4,000 in a year if you stay very, very focused and intentional. Um, 4,000 is quite a mortgage, let me tell you. <laughs> so um, that may not be what you're after, but you can definitely, that would be incredible, right? Just imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Allison, what excites you about directorship? Um, just being able to have that extra income to help so it's not all on my husband's income, that we can sit comfortably and not paycheck to paycheck. Okay. Well, tell me what's different between being a consultant and getting achieving that versus director for you? Um, the difference is like not, it's not only just all about me and you know, just the, the income for me, but it's being able to help others who are going to be underneath of me. Okay. So having that team yeah. uh, environment and being part of a team. Okay. Yeah. That's really important to a lot of people. Good. Christy, how about you? For sure. Oh, definitely the extra income for sure. I'd like to hit where about Claudia is at. That would be nice. Okay, what would you um, well, pay off all of our debt. It's kind of gotten a little crazy. And then um, my husband's retiring, so we have a, some uncertainty in our financial future. And I have kids with really expensive hobbies. Um, they ride, and we have horses, and that's kind of expensive. <laughs> so... And they'll need, they all need braces, and they all, I'm sure, will go to college, and I'd like to go help them as much as possible, so. Okay. I could use it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. Okay, good. Well, no, that's important that you have something to spend it on. <laughs> <laughs> it makes your wallet a little stronger. And is that the big thing that excites you most about directorship, or is it something else? Um, I like the idea of like building up a team and helping them achieve their goals too. Okay. How about um, Karen? Um, I'm mostly interested in, in leadership and the leadership um, possibilities. I enjoy helping um, other people reach their goals and, um, and that's, I mean, the, the income, of course, is, is nice. And for me, that's, to me, that's more of a sign of success. You know, I want to be a success, I guess. Um, so, I mean, yeah, my, my husband got irritated with me, actually, because, you know, I have my commission checks going into a separate account. And he was with me when I was making a deposit, and I got the, uh, the amount back. And he's like, what, why aren't you taking, what? what? why aren't you taking the money out of that account? Are you kidding me? And I was like, well, you know, I figure I'll, I'll just cash it out when we move. So, um, yeah, he's, he's all about the income. So to feed our Starbucks addiction. But, um, for me, I just, I just, I want to be successful and I want to see other people be successful. Okay. That's, that's really, that's what your directorship is all about. All right. So Lori, how about you? You still with us, Lori? Or are you like, do we freak you out already? <laughs> Me? Me? I saw there was another Lori, I think. Was there another Lori on the call? Lori, Lori Betwell is on the call. She's a director, though. So okay, because <laughs> I saw two Lori, so I'm like, oh, is it me? Um, I'm excited about building a team and building something that I can move around with. And it's my business, my thing. I don't have to sit in a you know, go somewhere nine to five, 
I need my own business. I like the team. Um, of course, I like the money. We're not dying for money, but everybody could use more money. I mean, we, we do have a, a child in college, so I know that's rough. But um, I would like her also to see me have something of my own, you know, because I feel like I've lost myself through this way. <laughs> and um, the leadership I like, um, I'm used to that from when I was in the military and other positions I've had. So it kind of is like my calling and makes me feel like myself again. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love talking to you guys. You know, I, I hear my story in almost each and every one of you. So. Um, it's, yeah, it brings back uh, memories for sure. Um, and Can I say that I absolutely love when my girls on my team that I have right now, I love when they call me and they're like, hey, I need your help. I need to know how to do this, or I need to know what I'm supposed to do with this, or what about this, or I have a customer that needs to know this. That gets me excited, like when they call and ask me for help. I don't know why. But it just gets me excited. <laughs> I think it's done, but I, I get excited when I do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think all, a lot of the excitement in this business for myself and for Claudia at this stage in our business is helping people and especially new people. Um, there's just so much excitement and energy and developing new leaders. And it, I know personally it does give me a lot of gratification. I know it, Claudia as well. Okay, good. So, um, Claudia, what's next on the list? Um, did you want to talk about the four shows? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Um, okay. Um, wait, we didn't have Melissa, right? Yeah, no, she, well, she had, she had about the, the director boxes and. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're not getting my director box, but you can get your own. <laughs> um, okay. So, um you know, we do need some sort of minimum for me, for you guys to help, to be able to even help you with, you know, getting better at your shows, getting more bookings and getting, you know, at the end, those recruit leads that you want for your team. Um, and just to, you know, go over the requirements for directorship, it, you know, it sounds more scary than it is. It's really not that, you know, that hard, I guess. Um, so it would be, five new team members um, and that they don't necessarily have to be your team members. Okay. So you could have two team members and then that one team members recruits three more that makes a total of five. Okay. It has to be a total of five, no matter who recruited what, as long as they are on your team. Um, and the month that you're going for promoting. So let's say you want to go for it next month in February, all your five new team members need to be active, which means they need to have at least $150 in sales in, which if you have brand new consultants, you know, they are more likely to be active anyways because they're going to have a launch party. They're going to have virtual launch parties and they're just getting ready to start the business. Um, and on top of that, you need to have at least $750 in sales um, and your overall team together has to have $5,000 in team sales. Okay. Which sounds like a lot, but you know, the average new consultant does do 1250 in their first 30 days. So if you add that up, it's really, you know, if you have new people, it, the numbers are really not, the problem in that case. Um, but we do need shows, okay? Whether they are cooking shows, whether they're freezing workshops, whether they are virtual parties, because these shows will put you in front of enough people so you can get more bookings, so you can have your sales, but so you're also more likely to meet that next potential recruit, okay? Um, so whatever your show schedule might be now, we just need to know if you are willing to do at least four shows a month, if not even more. We ideally would like you to have six to eight, but if for some reason or another, you can only do four shows, or maybe you can only do four cooking shows. You can only do one night a week, but maybe you could supplement with some virtual parties um, with that as well. Um, am I missing something, Donna? No, and let me tell you the reason why. Um, she just went over the director requirement, which is 5,000 plus the five team members. And so for many of us, um, the, 
maybe some, for some of you, the challenge is going to be getting your five team members, but we will help you with that. For some of you, the challenge is going to be hitting that 5,000 requirement. Okay. Now we know that your minimum is 750 a month, but it is a rare day in my 21 years that we have promoted a director who sells at 750. Most directors that we promote are selling at 2,500 to 3,000 themselves. So you should be prepared to be selling at that level so that you're gonna carry the load initially with your team. And even though these new people are gonna sell at 1250, you want to get paid as a director, right? You wanna enjoy all the benefits of that. that. So, um, so let's talk about that. How hard is it to sell at 2,500 to 3,000? And, and what does that get you? I mean, certainly put you in line for the trips, right? Four shows and four or five, five or six new consultants on your team a month, you know, uh, four shows a month and four or five, uh, five or six consultants over the year will definitely put you on track for that cruise next year. Free cruise, free trip, right? What, how much is the commission on 3,000 a month, you guys? Let me do the math for me quick. Who's my math? My, who's my mathematician? Twenty percent would be six hundred, but it's more than twenty. It's like what is it? Twenty four, I think. Okay. So, so at least six hundred. So six hundred dollars in your pocket, um, just on your commissions. Our average new director that's doing about eight shows a month is usually earning about 1800 so that gives you a gauge and if you're doing four shows you're going to be a lot less than that um eight shows will definitely put you in line for that and um, the three thousand dollar in sales if you break it down to the show average which is about five hundred dollars comes down to six shows mm -hmm. so it really sounds more scarier than it is to yeah. sell three thousand well, and when you look at virtuals, catalogs, your freezer mill workshops, I mean, you've got such a wide variety of different types of businesses. That shouldn't be scary to you because that is, think about it, that's like one to one and a half shows a week. That's pot time. So who out there is making, you know, $1,800 or $1,000 um, working one, going out one time a week, right? Or two times a week. So keep that in mind. And um, I just, I wanted to make sure that you were aware of that because as we're moving forward, what we can get you there. The whole thing about directorship and achieving your goals. I mean, you've got three directors on this call right now or four directors on this call. All have been there before you. All have done it in the last few months. You know, Liz is on the call. She's a fast track director. Also hit her second fast track bonus earn that thousand dollar bonus those of you who are new um you're definitely in line or could be in line for that um you know the um the track record of your team is such as if you just follow what claudia tells you to do what liz and Lori tell you to do you will achieve your your goal of directorship and beyond you will achieve the the monetary goals okay um so I just wanted to make sure that you were aware that this is not just, oh, let's just try it and see what happens. If you're in this group, we're gonna have some expectations of you. And of course you see I'm here, it's almost 10 o'clock at night, Claudia's here. I'm 100% committed to helping you guys achieve your goal. And I know Claudia is as well as your directors. Um, but what we're gonna expect from you is if you don't have shows, you're not gonna see enough people to grow that team. And so if you don't have shows, we can't help you to help you find new opportunities within your shows, find recruits within your shows, and, and so on and so forth, okay? So um, that requirement is a minimum. And I, I want you guys to like blow us out of the water here. Um, just have some, just book away, okay? Because the more shows you have, the faster we can help you achieve it. I've helped directors promote in one month. You guys have six or eight shows next month, we probably could promote you. <laughs> you know, you're gonna work hard, but we could do it. Um, maybe it's two months, whatever your goal is, but we can so make that happen, okay? So if you see all these new spring products and you're like, I want them and I want them free, um, we can help you get them. 
and just so you guys know, whenever you do promote, so if let's say you promote next month, right, with um, going official March 1st, Pamper Chef will send you the same boxes that we just got. Okay, if you promote in March, they will still send you all the new products for free. Um, but yes, I do want to add that, you know, the director directorship thing is not just going to happen. Okay, you really have to set your mind and make your vision board or whatever it is that you need and let your husband know, let your friends know that this is what you're going for. Um, and I, I know I always say that, but I like to compare it just with losing weight because I've been there and done that too, you know? So just like you say, hey, I want to lose 20 pounds. It's not just going to happen. You have to make changes. You have to work for it and you have to work hard. And sometimes we work really hard and you're like on the ground and you're just done. <laughs> um, and then you get up the next morning and you do it again. But I can tell you that Whatever you invest in your business now, and if you really think about and work your business every day, and I'm not saying eight hours a day, but even if you take one or two hours in, in 15 minute increments here and there, that it will pay off. There's no way that you're going to invest one hour a day and nothing will come from that. I guarantee you. Yeah. So how about questions or concerns? or fears fears yeah let's talk about those i think it's really important up front to, to get those out so that we can help you any no, and no questions well, i guess i guess my concerns here are eight shows a month sounds fabulous i would love to do eight shows a month but i mean it's really frustrating when <laughs> I'm going to try not to cry here, but sometimes, you know, I'll send out like 50 messages on the tree or whatever a week and I get like one virtual, you know, and so I try not to compare myself, but, you know, I'll have somebody else say, oh, I contacted 10 people and I booked six shows and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I, let me, let me address that because no, I'm, I'm trying not to be in, and so I keep building myself back up and I'm like, how many times do I have to keep? building myself back up you know <laughs> yeah, no, and i'm glad that you brought this up this is really important and the most important thing that you just said there is that you would love to do hos okay so that rest is easy but yes it is a numbers thing and the only reason that sometimes people you know will get two or three out of ten contacts and they'll book three shows out of ten and will book one out of 20 is because they have stronger relationships with these people to start military folks we don't you know i can't i move just as more times than all of you <laughs> put together probably it with my business and i will tell you that was the hardest thing i was always a new consultant always starting over and always having to go through like you just said 50 or 100 names contacts but it is a numbers game. So you just, you see how you just have to do it and follow up that way. Claudia knows, Liz knows, those guys all just went through it. So you've got a whole network of buddies here that have just gone through exactly what you've gone through. And they actually have learned some tricks along the way. So we can help you, you know, uh, minimize that or maximize it, if you will. Okay, but the fact that you are willing and able to do HOs means that you are the right candidate for this, this program. Absolutely. Okay. Does that help you? Does that help you? It's not yeah, you. No, I mean, that helps me. That helps me. I'm just like, I'm trying. I've been trying to get six to eight shows on, on my calendar for, you know, since October. <laughs> and that's what this program is going to do. We are going to be very strategic, okay? So those okay. trackers, and, and I don't know if you've been on any of the money tree calls, but those of yeah, you who are the calendar full, okay, we're going to go back, but we're going to dig through all of those, all right? Okay. And see, okay, what, what were we saying? What can we say different? What can we do different? What can we offer different to help you get there? But if your goal is eight shows by February, we'll roll up our sleeves with you and help you do it. Right, Claudia? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay so and she's like the queen i mean you know i i've been a little out of the moving thing for a few years now as i told you but these guys have all just moved liz she's another one and laurie another one i mean these guys have pretty full calendars right now and they just moved like a month ago or two months ago i'm right. so 
like I, I think they're God. So I would, I would <laughs> listen to them. <laughs> they're amazing. Right. They but, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people here because I volunteer a lot. So, um, I know a lot of people is just turning those acquaintances into, so I've been adding people like to Facebook because maybe I see them around, but I don't know their name. So I've been like, Hey, you know, I'm Karen da, 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 and getting to know them better, adding them on Facebook and, and things like that. So, I mean, I feel like I've been, I, I've been more purposeful, like with, you know, I have my bag always with me, and so I've been handing out the little brochures. And but you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed right. to be a social butterfly, basically. Right. Seriously. Right, right, right. And I was never that person. You know, I go out right. now, and my husband's like, you know, you used to be bizarre's girlfriend, and now everyone's like, are you Claudia's husband? Oh, you're Claudia's husband. <laughs> we went to a military ball. He knew like two people, and I knew like 20, because, you know, oh, I've done right. parties with them, and I met, and he's right. like, is there anyone you don't know? You know, but that's just how it is. And sometimes right. you, know, you might want eight parties, and you know, it might not happen, you know, for whatever reason, but maybe you have four, and two of those get you into a whole new circle, and just, a, it's like a snowball effect. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but it's not it's not just going to happen overnight and it's not going to happen without effort and without people telling, you no, for sure. Right. Well, and I'm, I'm okay with no, it's just, gosh, <laughs> like and some, ah. some people get more no's than others. You know, it's just yeah, like the yeah. vendor events. Some people book 10 parties and some people book two parties because it just really right. depends on the people. If it's a good time for them and you know, things like that. Right. And the approach, like, is it text? Is it Facebook? Is it phone? all those different things have different numbers for people and so right. um you know sometimes we like oh, geez you know i sent 50 facebook messages out or 50 texts out well i did that saturday because it snowed here i sent out just want you to know i sent out 40 texts and i made about 10 phone calls um i did not talk to a person and i got of those 40 texts i think i got five responses right yeah and they weren't booking shows they would just oh yeah i'd like to come to your thing or oh yeah put me on the list for that or oh i'm okay and i'm, I'm happy with my products they weren't bookings okay right. but they were responses and that's the whole key is that we're building rapport too okay so okay. the calls that i sent out just do you want to book a show i didn't get one response back so, hey, after 21 years experience, I have those days too. And you right. guys need to know that. We all do. But it's just numbers, just numbers. We just do it anyway because one of those tomorrow is going to call me back and say, hey, I'm ready. Right. I mean, it is like with, with the – so the one virtual that I did book, you know, I just closed out her show, and I actually booked another virtual off of that from somebody. I have no idea who, who she is. <laughs> Some random – person in Georgia huge virtual business for you guys in the military I didn't have that back then huge right these freezer workshops golden opportunity and you're a really strong team doing these workshops not everyone is so it is a huge advantage who else has a fear or challenge and, and Lori and um, Liz jump right in because this is really in your territory here as far as we you know, getting your calendars up to uh, up to speed. But who else has some questions? Well, I just want to share a thought too. Um, going along with Karen's thoughts, I've like done the same thing, and I'm like, how are they getting so many people? But it's that one response that you get that you're like, oh my gosh, I got one. Because I had a freezer mill workshop party at a host's house and I had everybody, you know, you do the tagging of you and you share, hey, I did this, you should come with me next time. I literally, that's where my two freezer meal workshops, well, my third, that's how I got my bookings is from those. Cause they're like, oh, I really want to do that. And let's do it at a party, might as well. I have friends that want to do it. So it's that tagging or that, you know, just a, a clean comment. Cause all I did was make a comment of, I didn't want to like bombard her whole post. So I just said if they had questions, they could message me. And I just got message after message after message. But everybody that I had texted or I had messaged, I got like two responses. And they were like, no. And I got one from one uh, booking from 
texting, but it's just from like different hosts. If they share, then somebody else wants to share. So it's just simple things. And something kind of piggybacking on that that I've learned is, <clears throat> and now I'm saying this coming off of a show this weekend where I was totally off my game. Um, but it's, you know, you want to provide your host with the best experience available because her friends are going to trust her judgment and her recommendation more than I can throw you a fun party or I can give you a fun workshop. You know, so you want your host to have a good experience so that um, when they're talking to their friends, they're like, you know, I had this great party this weekend. It's so, I'm so sad you couldn't make it, or I'm so glad you were there. Um, she made it so easy for me, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, those recommendations can do a lot for you. At this point, you know, we all should be doing that. We should be having our hosts do commercials on Facebook and our parties for us. We should ask them to do that, huh? I never even thought of that. Have you seen those posts on Facebook where people say, um, comment if you'll let me post on your Facebook page? And, you know, yeah. I don't know what they post on their Facebook. Those are actually yeah, against Facebook policy. Are they? Yeah. I haven't done it just... You know, but no, and you don't see it. It doesn't show up on people. It doesn't. Uh, well, I guess that yeah. would be why I see them post saying, hey, but you, I? <laughs> yeah, but what you could do is when you have a party, just like you do, we do it for the freezer meals. You could say, hey, anyone that posts a picture of them at this party and tags me gets a free gift added to the order. That would be smart. Mm -hmm. See, I just came up with something. Oh, I like it. <laughs> and so why, why if they tag you, then it shows up on their page? And because it's, yeah, then they are posting it. So it's not me tagging them because I'm the paper chaff lady. It's them saying, and normally they say, they really say something fun. They're like, oh, having fun at this wine, cheese and chocolate party. You're getting ready to cook up, you know, a healthy in a hurry dish. Um, and that's how people are like, oh, where are you? What are you doing? Oh, how does that work? You know, it's not a sale but it's like a um i can't think of the word well, not a direct I, sale right so indirect I would, I would ask her and if you and if you put a little plug in for me you'll get a free gift so you know if you want to have one of these yourselves contact claudia at blah 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 you know on your website and if she posts it for you imagine i mean if you're going to give a gift out you must well make it make some money for you so that's i like that even better and then you could add it onto the host's order. Like even if you give her a spice with her 20, 30% off, it's not costing you like anything. I love this idea. I like this too. I love that. I love this with your shows and with your virtual shows and your freezer workshops, everything, right? And even your new consultants. I made, I went to a Staples and I had a big poster made for my vendor event and it was a selfie. If you took a selfie with me and tagged me in the selfie, then you got entered in, instead of, well, what I did was I had them write out the, um, the drawing slip and enter into the selfie for the contest. That's a good idea. I like that. So if you post a selfie? Mm -hmm. They had to tag me on Facebook. Tag, okay. give it a drawing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got to do more of this stuff. This is good. That's, this is good. That's why I love these. It was a good one, too, because it was a zombie run. And so everybody was dressed up as zombies. So that was real fun. <laughs> cool. You know, well, you can get the face to the name, too, when you're doing your drawing slips. You're like, oh, okay, that's who that was. And, you know, I, one thing I do know, because I see Melissa's posts, she does an amazing job of creating desire without slamming Pamper Chef down people's throats. You know, she gives all kinds of food tips and all kinds of things. Um, and so if you're going to do things on social media, take a look at Melissa's page. Um, she, I think she does a really great job. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions, concerns? We didn't scare you away. 
I definitely want more help as far as transitioning to a new place because I was never good at that to begin with. And I think that's part of where my downfall was. And I am going to be moving here in a couple months. So that definitely kind of not necessarily worries me, but at the same time, I'm not very confident at that point. And we can definitely help you with that. You know, um, the main thing is really planning ahead and not waiting until you get there. Um, and that really goes for any time you take a break. And I've taken breaks several times through pregnancies and trips and all that stuff. Um, but it's really planning ahead. So, okay, I'm not going to be here, you know, or I'm not going to have business for two months. What am I going to do for when I come back? Or what am I going to do as soon as I get there? Um, and just realizing that it's not going to happen overnight. Okay. Um, for me, it was really always quitting was just not an option. Okay. Because I believe that this business will work for me and my family. Like I was determined. There was no other option. I did not want to go back to working full time. Um, and just having that mindset that you are not going to quit no matter what really helps every single day seriously um and eventually people will be like you know even after years they'll be like yeah i'll always stick to claudia or I'll always you know like order from you um and people will refer you and people will know that you do pamper chef no matter what they're not going to question oh allison moved i wonder if she's even still doing pamper chef you know, words like this shouldn't even cross people's minds, but they do because a lot of consultants just come on, you know, to try it out, doesn't work out and they, you know, stop. Um, and you also, you know, if you don't have good shows, you, that's even another reason to talk even more pamper chef versus like, oh, I'm not even gonna, you know, talk about that. Um, and we just had our team meeting, what was it last month? And we had a girl there that, you know, got discouraged because, all her neighborhood friends were having pamper chef parties, but it wasn't with her, but it's because they didn't know she was doing pamper chef. They thought she just hosted a party. They didn't even know it was a launch party, you know? So those are the things that you're going to learn because things like that will happen. And you're like, Oh, I should have asked her or they might book with me versus you because maybe you didn't ask, you expected them to come to you. And I've had the same expectation that I'm like, Oh, I should have asked her but I didn't. So just always ask everyone. Yeah, the exciting thing too, guys, is this is your business. So if you treat it like a business, it will reward you with what businesses bring you. And one of the exciting things about our Pampa Chef business is not only are you paid for what you do physically, but you're also paid in building a team and you almost are building a 401k or retirement program for yourself if you will so and what my what i'm trying to say there is when i started with pamper chef of course if i did four shows i made about four hundred dollars and then as soon as i became a director i was making about eighteen hundred dollars and then as soon as I became an advanced director, I think I was making about $3,600. And the senior director, I was making in the 4,000s. And today I do make about 10 to 12,000 a month. And you know, that is whether or not I do HOs or not now. I mean, most times I don't do HOs. Um, and in fact, this is a business that works around your life all the time. So sometimes you have to pull back you will still be able to maintain, once you build a strong foundation for your business, you'll be able to maintain that residual type income. Um, but that's not to say that that's gonna happen overnight, but it's definitely available for you. So I don't know where you fall in that scale, but it's all available. And we are happy to help you achieve all of it. You certainly can, each one of you have what it takes to do it. It's just a matter of you being committed. So with that said, it sounds like what we all need are some shows. And I don't care what they are. I don't care if they're catalog, Facebook, um, virtual, um, you know, cooking shows. If you're in front of people, that's what's key. Okay. And some of you will do a better job of being in front of virtual people than you will in front of, you know, regular people. If that's your comfort level, I'm okay with that. 
but what we also want to do is make it your mission to share this business with everyone all the time. So once we have those shows, you're in front of enough people that you can start um, getting more and more comfortable with sharing the business. Okay, and Claudia and all of us can help you guys um, in moving forward. Do you have any other questions of me? And I'll send you this. This is just kind of like a little um, flyer thing. I think I've posted this that kind of just goes through, you know, my beginning incomes and, um, you know, just what this business does for people. We don't realize, we always think of it like we get paid in food choppers, but there is a huge business income available here. And, um, you know, I tell people this all the time and, and I'm so proud of Claudia for making it happen, but there are few, few businesses or few careers where you can give yourself a monthly raise of two or three thousand dollars in one year. There are very few jobs that you can do that, but you have that control here. So whatever you guys are dreaming of, you can you can have it. I know I live it. I built this house. Um, you know, I, I paid my kids went to college on my dime. We paid cash for their education, and they are all, you know, have great education, step free. Um, and this business has done so many other things for us. But even more than the financial things that it's done for us, um, just the wonderful blessings. Uh, I, I can't even, you know, I could just go on and on and on. So treat it like a business, be committed to it, and you can have some amazing things here. And it's flexible. Who can say that their jobs are flexible like this? This is amazing. You guys all need flexible because of the military. That's one thing I had to have, and that's why this business gave this to me. So, okay. I can I add one more thing? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, and the shows that you guys already have, your, most of your recruits are going to come from your hosts. Um, so any host that you already have on your books could be your first potential recruit. So what we want you guys to do, um, me and Donna have been asked by home office to lead the opportunity call tomorrow night at 8 PM Eastern time. So what that means is I posted the link, basically your potential recruit, anyone that has slightly ever considered this opportunity, anyone that you think might be great, you wanna make sure you let them know um, tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, it's a little late. But um, to get on this call and just listen in, they can register and they can win a um, free piece of cookware as well. So that would be a great way, especially if they're military too, to hear you know, my story and you know, Donna's story and things like that and come on and ask questions. Um, for anyone that, um, I just posted it on our team page. Um, anyone that has anyone on this call, make sure they register, post their name so we can, um, you know, make sure that they are registered. You will, they will be entered to win. You guys will be entered to win a free new spring product. And whoever has the top people attend tomorrow night on this call with a minimum of three people will also automatically get a free new spring product. You should tell us what the product is, Claudia. I don't know yet. I'll have to see how many people you can give me. <laughs> good try. Yeah, yeah, good try. The new products are really... Take advantage. Expensive. And if for some reason tomorrow turns out to not be a good time, I think uh, this should go without saying on your team, but you should be setting up interviews or calls with Claudia or your director for every single lead right now, okay? Until you become experienced, we want you to set up every call with them because trust me, um, they will sign them. Bring them and they will sign them. That's just what people always say that to me, you know? And they just bring the people to me and we will sign them for that you. That was my goal when I started. I was like, if I can get them to the team meeting, that was my only goal. I didn't talk about anything else. I just need to get them to Donna's house and they would sign them. <laughs> well, now my team does all phone calls with me. They get them on the phone with me. We will sign them. Claudia, I've trained her well. Claudia has trained Liz and Lori and those guys. They all do the same thing. So set up calls with your leaders, okay? 
um, take advantage of this. This is all like a special gift. You really do belong to a very special team um, and you have an unlimited, just a blessing of an opportunity here to so superior. Who was it that said they did this before, came back? Allison. Allison, so you know. Mm -hmm. the type of team you have here and and that you know if you're gonna if great things are gonna happen this is it opportunities knocking so take advantage okay and then me and donna will figure out a time for a follow-up call right yeah yeah but and really you guys once you have shows you know you'll be wanting to set up a regular call with claudia or your directors and i'm happy to jump in on any any time you guys need me and use the Facebook page that we created, you know, whether it's concerns, questions, it's exciting things. Hey, I picked up the phone and, you know, I got a booking. Um, just communication is really key. Like we can only help you if we know what's going on on the other end. Yeah. So if you're sitting on this call tonight and saying, mm, but you're not comfortable with sharing, just call Claudia, give us a call tomorrow and we can talk to you individually too. I do right. have a question. Oh, go ahead. Um, about getting someone to sign on. Um, my husband what, knows a guy that he works with that his wife, I don't know her at all, that she may be in, interested in selling Pampered Chef. So I have no way to communicate with her. I have no phone number, nothing, except for through my husband to give him information to give to his coworker to give to her. Okay. So how would I get this information for her to sign on maybe to hear the call tomorrow that you know she may be like oh okay i want to do this so what <laughs> i do is and and if it if she can't get onto the call tomorrow either way i would still mm -hmm. do the same thing is have your husband tell him to give the phone number her phone number to you Okay. Okay. The only thing that you can do is once you have that phone number, then you're going to set up a call or get her connected with tomorrow's call if that is still, you know, if that could still happen. But yeah, we need to get her phone number so you, you know you can give her a call. You can't go through him. You know? Right. Right. Unless you you get together with them as a couple or something. No, I don't. We're pretty new here. My husband wouldn't even, you know, he was just like, oh. He was talking about it to somebody at work, and they were like, oh, you know, my wife is kind of interested in that, something she can move around with her, but, you know, you know, these two guys don't know nothing about this. <laughs> I think it would be okay for you to, if he works with your husband, to call your husband at work and get his phone number and mm -hmm. just call him and say, hey, my husband, this is so-and-so, and my husband said that, you know, you think your wife might be interested. I just want to you know, um, set up a time to answer any questions that she has. Can you, you know, would it be okay to give me her phone number? And if he is hesitant about that, then you know it's next, next lead. But okay. most of the time he will, because he knows you guys. <laughs> okay, I will try that. Yeah. Thank you. We do find new consultants or new recruiters tend to give a lot of information. The best thing you can do is take every lead to your directors. Okay. Right. Yeah. Just initially, because you're going to listen into it and you're going to be like, oh, how easy is that? I can do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, ladies. Any other questions? Should we be on that call tomorrow as well, just to kind of listen and see what you guys have to say and how you talk to potential recruits? You can. Absolutely. Just don't, um, the question and answer section at the end is just for potentials, but you definitely can get on and listen. Yeah, you don't want to register because you won't be eligible for the drawing. That's only for leads and, you know, people that are not consultants. But I would, I would definitely, I think it's a, um, they, we don't record the calls. So, um, or if we do record them, we only do them for us. We, they're not recorded for the public. So that's going to be your only time to hear the story. All right, ladies. So keep in touch. Um, let me know if we can help or what we can help with. Um, if you want to set up weekly calls or, you know, anything to keep you accountable, 
definitely let me know. Yeah. Um, and let's get you to your goals. Yeah. Our okay. goal. By, you know, February 1, you guys should all have trackers to Claudia that um, has a really good effort in place to getting to that goal of sex. Okay, so make that your goal. You've got, what, six days. And if you need some help with that, these guys have lots of ideas. All right, everyone. So if there's no more questions, you all have a good night. Bye.